Hey guys, it's nice to see me again. So I am recording this the same day I did my cast review. So now we are moving on to the build by and world overview. I'm putting those two in the same category because it seems like we're going to go through the same process. But yeah, check out the previous video if you want to hear about my overview of cast for life and death. But now we are going to the Sims 4 life and death expansion pack by looking at the world and the build by. Now the new world is right here, Ravenwood. So, oh, little crow appears. That's cute. Okay, so it says, things always get a little spooky and wave, waving. Ravenwood. The Whispering Glen and its nightly moon revelry festivals is perhaps the most normal part of this area, where locals have settled down for a slice of quiet country life. Crow's Ca Crossing Village, however, is clearly quite haunted. Swing, swing by themselves, that merchant fellow down by the crypt, scary little Edith guarding the well of longing and regret. But despite the hauntings, the living have certainly made it their home as well, with a variety of festivals and places to explore. Morning Vale is where things get extra eth ethereal. It's well known as a home for ghosts and the seeking them. Sometimes Grim even stops by. Okay, it's here. So, all right. So it looks like we got the three neighborhoods. So there's Crow's Crossing. This is Whispering Glen, and this is Morning Vale. So if I heard correctly. Somewhere around here, like, there should be, like, at least I saw, shouldn't there be, like, a place up here for the Grim Job thing? Because we're going to something like that. Okay, so, obviously, we have new lot type cemetery, but I'm more confused because, obviously, there should be a place to hold funerals, right? Because I saw that in the pack, so why isn't there one here? Is cemetery the only thing that got newly added to the game? Because if that's so... Yikes, Sims team, why did you completely show something off and just not include it in your game? So I'm really hoping this is just not being visible right now. It looks like we have a nightclub, a bar. That's about it. You think they'd have a park or something, but no. Uh, there, there's a lot of mansions out here. I heard this is supposed to be based off of Romania. And so I'm already going to address the controversy that is going around the Sims game right now. It is stated by SimGuru Ninja that winter just does not affect this world. And let it be known for as a person who paid $40 for seasons and loves seasons in a game, we haven't gotten a world in a while that experiences snow. And this is my issue. They said they went for more of a permanent autumn of this world, but I don't like that. The reason why is because I paid money for it and I'm expecting more that we should have a world where we can experience this, where we can have fun and see that winter come through because this Rom romania clearly gets winter like I, you could look up photos online now please thank simmer aaron for posting a video on this i'm happy she informed me but i really do hope they consider you know reevaluating what they thought and consider actually putting seasons in the game because again i pay 40 dollars for that pack i expect that pack to be in my game okay just saying i don't care if it's creative choice just saying we paid money and the only other issue I'm having with this world, so, so far, no funeral homes, so that's already a problem. Two, no winter, so that's even more of a problem. And three, look at this area right here down in the bottom left. I, I hate to say it, but why is there houses, and why does this look like an area where your sims could have a house and there just isn't one? Like, they, they, they literally could have put something here. It just feels so... This, this feels so weird, having this giant empty space right here with houses and just not having anywhere where your sims can live. I just, I have an issue with that, and it's bothering me, just saying. But, now, let's get to the thick of it. For world-wise, this world with three problems with it already, I'm going to go ahead and give the world, I hate to say, a 6 out of 10. It's not that it's not beautiful. It's not that it's unique. It's not unique. The issue is, it's missing so much that is a problem. I was expecting we were going to get funeral homes, and we didn't. So where am I supposed to hold my funerals now since the game? Come on, where am I supposed to do that? Unless there's not one in this world, what am I supposed to do? Okay, so, oh boy, we got quite a bit already. Now, let me just check, make sure I'm not missing a funeral home. Okay, we got cemetery. Yeah, there's just, apparently you just can't have a funeral home. Again, this game is literally about funerals. Where am I supposed to hold it? I can't hold it in my backyard. There should be... Uh, look, I'm very upset because there needs to be a building where you can hold this stuff. Imagine if they had my wedding stories and they didn't have a wedding venue lot trait. It just... It's a big issue. There needs to be a funeral home. Like, I... 
I need a place to hold my funerals. It's a problem. That's why I'm being so critical. Like, this pack is so far... Like, it literally looked like funeral homes were advertised in the trailer. And this is a problem that's been going on with the Sims team for the longest time. They've been putting stuff in their trailers that look like it's part of the game, but then ends up actually not being part of the game. And that's a problem. Like, they need to stop doing that. Please. Ugh. I don't want to have to make sure I have room in my house for this funeral. Sorry, I'm very ticked off right now. Okay, so we got five new rooms. We got this nursery. Is that a new bassinet? Oh, it's a new bassinet. Look at that. Um, we got this, like, children's room, clearly. Oh, I wouldn't want that on my wall. Um, we got this toddler room, which, again, nice autumn colors. We got this living room, which, uh, very interesting, to say the most. Uh, it's very, very interesting. And then we got this kind of, like, study area. Clearly, I think this is supposed to be, like, um... Well, what is it called? It's a study, but it seems more like it's supposed to be for one of the careers. Because, look, there's even a pack of tarot cards right here, which is an object. Oh, boy. I hate having objects I got to store around everywhere. Okay, and then last week, we got a kind of place to hold a funeral, which I don't hate it. But, again, I'm so mad that there is not a proper, that there is not a proper funeral home. Like, this is... This is, I hate to say it, the fu no funeral home is a big deal breaker for me. Like, I need, again, as advertised in the pack, where am I supposed to hold my funerals? Like, come on. Uh, okay, give me a few minutes to pull up everything that the pack offers, including debug, if I can access it, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so all the debug cannot fit on the slot that tells you how much debug there is literally like here look at the bottom it's, it, a lot of this stuff's not even usable it's like placeholder stuff they put before they even started the pack and some of this stuff is weirdly like debug but it's from a previous game like even from the base game ends here i don't know like why is there balloons like and here's a big problem this pack does not come with any plants not any plants that <clears throat> it doesn't come with any plants that are going to be found in the typical menu you're going to have to look into debug to get them. And that's a big issue for me because a lot of people don't know how to access debug, which I'll, I've taught you guys how before. I can teach you again if you want to. But the issue is that a lot of people don't know how to access debug or don't even, or I don't even think some people can access debug. Quote me, don't quote me on that. I don't know if I'm right. But again, like look at some of these plants are very beautiful. Like this autumn tree, these grasses, like there's lots of stuff that's really good, but is locked behind debug. So I have a huge issue with that. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about debug because, again, like that stuff's pretty easy to find. But now let's go into detail about everything else. So for build by, we have a new sprandle. It's right across the top of this roof. We got a ton of new wallpapers. There's three new regular wallpapers right here. Now, this may look the same, but there's actually two different ones. There's a brick with like a corner on it, and then there's a brick with just regular brick. Then there is a stone, this like siding, this plaster with dirt, and then there's plaster with no dirt, and that's about it. Now, there's two new roof types. There's this kind of sh shingled roof, a little bit of a diamond shape, and then there's this green roof for the greenhouse. Now, for flooring, there's only one new flooring. It's this one right here. This kind of like diamond texture, lace texture, wood. Now for doors wise, there is four regular size doors. And as you can tell, they kind of like, there's like a pretty old one and then there's like a more fancier ones. Then there's this main door, which looks pretty, pretty detailed. There's this giant door and that's about it. Now for windows, there's several that span across like all sections, short, medium, tall. And there is like a bunch of elegant ones, a few like minor cabin like ones. These are for the greenhouses right here. And yeah, you can see them all right here. Pretty, pretty matches. Now for furniture wise, there's a ton of plaster marking decals. And then there's this little marking on the wall. I just wanted to discuss those first. Now let's go back over here before I continue on to that stuff. There is one new foundation color. It looks like this bunch of brick. We got two new columns, this column and this wooden column, this more ceramic column, which comes with a matching sprandle. Then we got two we got two new stair railings again, old wood and stone, and then the stairs match that wall from earlier. We got these two fences right here, it's supposed to be old. We got this fancier fence and then this kind of gated fence. 
We've got this two new gates right here, a fancier one and a dirtier one. We got these right here. These are roof details. All these things right here are roof details. So we got a new chimney, a bunch of new like spires, this new feature, and a bunch of holes for your roof, which you can place on the floor. That is possible. Okay, now for furniture, we have a new kitchen cabinet set. Pretty basic, looks pretty nice. Um, I wanna check the colors on it. Yeah, reasonable colors. And it comes with both a matching island and a matching shelf. We got two new shelves, one that's very like basic and one that has like this little tapestry or quilt on it. We got this new bar background area, which there's the second one, but this is the first one. I, I just put it right here. Okay, we got a ton of new chairs, a new bar stool, a bunch of dining chairs, a new desk chair, which I personally like, a and a few living room chairs. I do like how we have both like the old antique and the modern. And then we got a rocking chair too, and a little poop. Here are two new cabinets. Obviously, this one right here is meant more for a bathroom. And then this one's kind of like a file cabinet, which is interesting. We got three new beds, a toddler bed and two regular beds. Like I said, again, like more modern and more antique. Got a new bassinet. It's been a while since we've had one of those. And a new coffin, which again, been a while since we had one of those. We also have this seat, which this is a career. Um, this is a career gift. Like if you reach a certain level of career, you'll get this seat. Now, let it be known, you can also... Uh, literally just use a cheat and get this object but that's fine we got this new we got two new stone slabs which the only problem i have with these is this plaque right here is not separate it's with the object so we have a stone one and then we have a grass one again you can like uh, let me see here for example you can take one of these headstones and just put it on there but you can also put the headstone your sim generates so that's fine there's this is one of them this is a new kind of like it's called a memorial display. It's it's just a display. Pretty simple there. Got a new coffee table. Got a new uh, nightstand or little living room stand. We got a few new couches. We got this like kind of like stone one. And then we got a modern couch and a little more older couch. We got this TV stand. Two new dining tables. I personally like this more wooden one. We got this shelving unit, which is just, again, like supposed to be similar to the bar unit. We got this like other little table. We got two new desks, which again, like you can see the trend here, old versus new. Then we got this other wooden memorial stand, which again, it's good. Now let it be known, this is undedicated. So these memorial stands are purchasable, but there's a second type, I'll show you later. We got this brand new pedestal. I'm not sure what goes on here. I can't tell if this is supposed to be like a dining table or any of that. You know, the only way I could check out is, let me grab uh, this right here. Nope, that's like a stand, okay. Got two new sinks, got a new shower, a new bathtub, didn't really expect that out of this pack. We got a new journal, which obviously can be used as pretty much a normal journal, including for the Soul's Journey um, bucket list. We got this picture, which this is just a picture frame that's supposed to have your sim in it. I believe you can select what sim goes in it. This is just a little, little decoration. This is one of the objects that you get if you purchase the pack early. It's simply a... It's a music box. It plays a little music. Again, tarot cards, which the big issue I have about the tarot cards is there's not really places where you can put this stuff for your Sims unless it can be carried in their inventory, which I don't know about that until I play. And the issue is I wish these were more associated with the games table. It just seems like weird to have them as a separate object. Now, this is just a funeral bear now what you do with this take this object here and you put it on top pretty simple now i do wonder so a coffin comes in many colors but yeah it's simply just a decorative object for funerals and again it bothers me so much that we do not have funeral lots i can't i again like the whole point of this game is i need to celebrate my sim's death i can't do that if i don't want to hold it in my backyard that doesn't make any sense and I don't have extra space in the house. So this is just still upset about that. Got this new podium, which will obviously be compatible with the new buildings. We have a new bar, very antique bar. And this is the other one I was talking about earlier. It's kind of an empty back. It's also a bar. See? Interesting, huh? <laughs> but that's, see like how it's very similar to that one. It's just empty. We got a new monkey bars, a new towel, a celebration cannon which don't know why you would want to fire that off at a funeral that seems a little weird but i don't know how people celebrate now we have two new swing sets which where is one of them i could have sworn i placed both 
Uh, hang on, let me see if I can find that other swing set. Here it is. Yeah, I don't know why both swing sets weren't placed. It's rumored this one is haunted, but I think that's only in the town square. Then we got a bunch of new headstones. Decorative, not real. We got this new sign. Some I, love, I got this like funeral flower arrangement. Got a bunch of photos, including <laughs> the grim stuff that's supposed to be designated with the office that you can work in. We got this picture right here of the portal. We got tarot card pictures and we got some posters and we got this banner too with a matching pole let it be known this pole is not the right color obviously but it's matches we got a mausoleum or a crypt oh here's that our swing set i'll get rid of that um we also got these lights which these twinkle lights which are not bad i really wish they would give us a object like this that didn't have the pole because I, I feel like light a lot of simmers can use a lot of nights nice porch lights um, we got this new fireplace and now here's the other thing you can purchase now you can purchase the pedestals by themselves or you can decorate one yourself which is possible all these objects occur we have an what's this oh this is a mirror and then we have this is also a limited time object it is believed that i you can put your sims gallery photo in here which the big issue i have is this is a feature that i don't think should be locked behind a paywall of getting the game pack early because the issue i have is a lot of simmers including me want to be able to have family photos in their game get photos that contain all members of the family and you can't do that because i hate to say if you don't purchase this pack in time you will not get this object and they'll be gone you won't be able to get a new object where in previous packs you would be at least be given like for example uh what's a good example oh high school years now, let it be known, I did purchase high school years early, but I didn't get my content. Still angry about that EA, but, and same thing for college living. Beside my point, the thing you could do is you could either buy a different pack and get that object, or they would include a base game type object. So, for example, if this were the way I would have done it, I would have made this one is a special, like, you know, pre order bonus, and then you would have a basic frame that is one you get just in general you just get it like it's just basic simple frame but that's the issue i had this is an object that i don't think should be locked behind a paywall we got that decorative coffin three new plants indoor wise we got this new sign which obviously is like supposed to say just no ghosts prevents ghosts from coming to your house we got this gypsy booth which i'm like i don't know what this is supposed to do in the game got a few miscellaneous decorations nothing much there three new rugs very antique rugs two new curtains they miscellaneous object and i think this yeah it's an urn their decoration just a trunk we got a new crow which this crow is not detachable so yeah i'm sorry guys we got this new stuffed animal bunny got some candles a nice lamp this very interesting chandelier twilight lamp and this torch then up here, we got a new chandelier, another new chandelier with candles, one electric. And then we got this gigantic pool table-esque light. Then we got this new, like, it's kind of, it's a TV stand, apparently. We got this grandfather clock, which I am in love with. Now, only if it could actually tell time and chime, that'd be nice. Got this new fridge. I don't hate this. I like the glass sign on it that allows you to see inside in the little drink panel. Got a new basic stove, again uses got this overhead for the stove we got a new dishwasher didn't think this would be the pack that would come in <laughs> we got this career reward which is like a human anatomy or should i say sim anatomy thing we got this hourglass we got a picture right here which is the, what is this i know it's a i don't even know what it is this is a new book setting it literally looks like binders we also got this bookshelf right here this bookshelf and then a taller version of that bookshelf and another TV stand dresser. This is also a dresser, apparently. And yeah, that's about it. So, okay. We already know about my review of the world. And built by, I think, for the ob if minus the objects of debug, build by is, it's all right. I really think it, it would have been 100%. Like, I would have been like, yes, build by is awesome. If... If they would have included the trees and plants as objects rather than debug, that would make me go sky high. I would be so happy to praise this, but I hate to say it, debug gets a 7 out of 10. The objects aren't bad. That's why I'm giving it a pretty good rating. The objects aren't bad. 
the designs of the objects i really like the idea of modern versus old but again like there's a bunch of disappointments in here that really really bother me especially with those exclusive objects that once they're done they're gone you can't have them again but yeah so thank you guys for watching please watch the previous video where i review cast and like this video so more people could see it and subscribe to my channel if you are new head over to my other channel gary if you want to see non-simming content and also want to see me stream every weekend i'll be streaming the, tonight when this video comes out so have fun with that and also be aware tomorrow i'll be posting my gameplay video but yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you again soon bye